spooky decorations, Mrs. C. The gloomy decor really matches your personality. Oh. Well, I can't take all the credit. The whole building has a creepy history. It was constructed in 1913 by the notorious Tobin Castavet. Legend has it, he did horrible things, like summoning evil spirits and wearing white after Labor Day. How do you know so much about this architect from 100 years ago? She probably dated him in college. <laughs> Today. Whoa, Jesse, who are you dressed as? Babezilla? I'm not Babezilla, but I kinda am. <laughs> but I'm also Marilyn Monroe. Who are you dressed as? Professional snowboarder Sean Smith. He was the first person to attempt four consecutive 360s. Well, what's with a broken arm? I said he attempted it. <laughs> Robbie, who are you supposed to be? Luke, you know how I always say you are no Einstein? What's that got to do with your costume? I am so glad we do not swim in the same gene pool. Keep it down! I'm hibernating here. Zuri, you're dressed as Chubby the Bear? That's so lame. It's not lame. Chubby's good people. He's my friend. He's always there for me. And he single-handedly negotiated peace between the U.S. and Canada. The U.S. and Canada were never at war. I believe the words you're looking for are... Thank you, Chubby. <laughs> or, as they say in French Canada, Merci, Chubby. Wow, Emma. Cool fortune teller costume. I predict you'll win my costume contest. I'm not going to your kitty party. I'm going to crash Chesterfield's cool adult party. But you're not an adult. I know. That's why I'm wearing a ton of lipstick. And stuff my bra. <laughs> Well, I hope you use the tissues with aloe in them. You don't want to chafe. <laughs> Who does Jesse think these decorations are gonna scare? Ah! Well, touche. <laughs> now that looks like a real ghost. attacked me. It was a scary blob with a hideous smile. Are you sure it wasn't just you looking in a mirror? <laughs> Mrs. Chesterfield said the architect of the building could summon spirits. Maybe Bertram did see a ghost. There's no maybe about it. How else do you explain this goop? We're 10 feet from Kipling's cage and Luke's bathroom. Frankly, I'd be shocked if there wasn't goop. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Now click left or right for more great shows or subscribe to keep up to date with the latest Disney Channel YouTube clips.